Hi, my name is Brian English, Rappler Forum name Hyperbytes, and in this module I'm going to show you how to bind these dynamic um, SEO table values to our actual template itself, our layout, so that they are automatically pulled down from the database into the template as we navigate from page to page. So I'm going to go into our template, our layout page, I'm going to click on the app, and now we'll see here we have an option meta tags. I'm going to click on the meta tags and we're literally just going to work through all of these meta tags now or most of them anyway and just link them to the server action. So for instance straightforward description we're going to look at our global SEO query which will be available because we have a server action in here so it's available at any page that has a server action and we're going to just add our description field. We're going to continue on. We're going to carry right through here our canonical. We're going to click that. We're going to go to global SEO. I'm going to click on canonical. And we're going to literally go through all of the meta tags that we want to allocate into uh, this page. Now, I'm not going to bore you with doing each one physically as we go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video now. I'm going to complete the process, allow you to see the finished product, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So just give me one moment. So here we are now. I've worked through all of those meta tags that uh, I want to set. And we've got uh, each one of them linked to the appropriate field within that global SEO action. So a couple that I haven't done, uh, mobile capable, I suppose we could just say that and just hard code that the yes. Um, I think that's pretty much Apple specific that. A um, couple of others there, you've got your status bar, phone numbers, which are again tags that are used um, primarily um, iOS. Search engine robots, I prefer to use a robots text file myself. And the only general one I haven't done is I haven't set the um, icon that will appear up in the status browser, the fav icon, um, which I haven't done at this stage. But you can do that anytime you want. You know the technique. You don't need me to show you all of the minutia. But basically what we have now is all of our meta tags linked to our server action. And I'm going to save that page. Okay, so I'm going to pop over to our um, database manager. I'm going to have a look in that SEO table. And I'm going to just um, view edit the data. The reason I'm going to do that is I'm just going to call that um, home. And I'm just going to then save that I'm going to just open up the login page just to create an entry in there fetch that data that was our login I'm just going to change that description to login I could change all of these other ones but at the moment I'm wanting to just show you that um, the action is effectively working so I'm going to save that Right, now let's look at our home page. I'm going to fire up our web browser. I'm going to um, inspect. I'm going to go into the head and let's see what we can find in terms of our meta tags. There we are, we see all of our meta tags there. And you'll see description content equals home. That's what we set when we made that little database change. That proves that the home page is being pulled in as we would want it to. And if I fire up the login, and again, I'm just going to inspect, and I'm going to go up to the head. And let's scroll down to those, and you'll see meta name, description, content, login. In other words, we've confirmed here that as that page changes, we can see the change in the meta tag and I just click the home to there and you'll see now that within those we are now 
in the home. So all of those meta tags will change automatically in context to the page that is being viewed at the, the material time. So basically we can manage all of those meta tags now via a database, via a management console, and we don't need to go into any of the code itself to do that. So it means that you can uh, appoint someone separately to do your SEO if you want to have done that in the past. We are using this technique where I've had the um, third party has come in, had a look at the site and actually gone through and set all the meta tags for for the site on behalf of the customer so that uh, the customer or myself didn't have to do that. So it's a really great way of being able to A, manage your meta tags really, really effectively and secondly, potentially allow a third party to be able to do your SEO for you. So we're going to have to look very soon at uh, creating our administration module and creating some management screens on here. And probably the, the management of your SEO is a good place to start to show you how we're going to start building our administrative console, which allows the administrators, members, editors, etc. to be able to manage the information for which they are um, permitted to do what they have permissions for according to the role that they've got. So I uh, hope to see you in the next module. Thanks for joining me.